Good day, everybody. It's Michael Leveris from Jurisq.com, a legal network. And we have back with us a very experienced attorney in personal injury, Michael Ilyaich, a founding partner in Gregory Spector & Associates. Michael, welcome back. Thank you for having me, Michael. Thank you for your time. Uh, Michael, uh, I hear that there is a product out there for people that got injured, uh, usually in car accidents, called pre-settlement funding, where from what I understand, people can make some money even before their case gets settled or goes to trial. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't call it make money. They, you know, there is such a thing as pre-settlement funding. I'm not how, does it, how does it work? And I'm, what are the pros and the cons? Sometimes, okay, pre-settlement funding is when a claimant borrows money at high interest rate against future settlement proceeds. Okay. Uh, there are cases where it's inevitable and it needs to be done, but most of the cases are not those types of cases. Okay, so give us an example so people can understand. Let's say I'm hoping to get $10,000 for my injury. I broke my pinky in a car accident. How, does, how would that work? All right. Uh, let's take $100,000 injury. So let's make Fine. sure there's enough money. Okay. <laughs> Let's that. assume there is a hundred thousand dollar policy and there is a hundred thousand dollars worth of interest. Obviously, insurance company isn't going to part ways with hundred thousand dollars, you know, without taking their time to make sure the money is actually owed. Sure. Uh, sometimes people fall into financial distress and they have no option but to borrow money against future settlement proceeds. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of it just because of the high interest that's involved with these loans slash pre-settlement fundings, whatever you want to call it, okay? I'm not a big fan of it. So I always tell my clients, stay away from it unless it's absolutely necessary. What's okay. absolutely necessary? Okay. We had a case where our client uh, was hit by a tractor trailer mm -hmm. and the medical benefits exa were exhausted. Where fifty thousand dollars worth of medical benefits and they were exhausted. The injury was uh, was so severe, client needed the surgery. Surgery needed to be paid for. We had no option with our client but to borrow against future settlement proceeds to pay for the surgery. Okay, okay. and the money is all back at the end of the case with interest. Mm -hmm. However, when my client is forced to borrow money for a medical procedure, we will always try to incorporate it into the economic loss part of the claim. So when we present okay. a personal injury claim, it's not just pain and suffering most of the time, it's also mm -hmm. economics, mm -hmm. okay? And one is in addition to another. Not every personal injury claim has economic loss claim, okay? But significant cases like the example I gave you before do. Right. So sometimes it's just inevitable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and sometimes people just want to borrow money against uh, my advice. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I suggest not to borrow money for a little vacation. That's not a smart investment because the money you need to pay back on sure, the sure. interest, it's not mm -hmm. worth it. It mm -hmm. depends on the issue. Why do you need the money should be the question. Is it to go out and party? Then it's a bad call. It is has it, to be a necessity. Is, is, it, is, is, is it to get the necessary medical treatment? Then it's a good call. It depends. Right. What's the reason you need to borrow money? It's a very, very wise advice. Michael, can, I ask you, can you uh, get partial settlement, meaning not assign or sell your whole claim, but only partially or not? No, no, no. no, so no it's no. either zero uh, or uh, everything. No, uh, let's say uh, we, you know, there's a lot of cases. Let's say it's a three car accident. All right, mm -hmm. and one of the car insurance companies wants to sell. The other one doesn't want to, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. At this point. Right? Should you settle with one and fight the other answers? No, mm -hmm. because if the case goes to trial, you will have an empty chair. You won't have a defendant that other. I see. I see. Okay, so it depends on the case, but generally, the answer mm -hmm. is don't do it. That's Very not good. how you should settle. If it's multiple car accident, one insurance wants to settle, the other one doesn't. No, you have to do it with everyone together. Otherwise, your case will start falling apart. Michael, thank you so much uh, for your advice because uh, people that don't know and they get approached by uh, 
these companies or sometimes even their own attorney may uh, suggest suggest that it's always wise to listen to counsel this is why we here do these videos uh so people can get educated on personal injury what's out there what is happening the pros and cons of every action so that when you talk to your attorney you are an educated client and we informed thank you for that client michael is the best client i always say informed client yep. best client because once exactly. the client is informed client can make the right decision okay very good and when the best decision they can make is to call the number on the bottom of the screen because here we're of course because here we're just giving a general advice if you want to talk to michael Ilyich, uh and you want to get answers to your specific question the consultation is free right michael consultations are absolutely free yeah uh, and not only that i've seen your um your vans your cars all over new york city uh if a client we provide courtesy transportation to our clients when, whenever we can and it's these very are unique. the cars you see riding on the streets of the uh, of the city of New York. Yes. Yeah. If you see Michael's face and Gregory Spector's face on the car, you know that there's a client in there that's waiting to get into an office. And uh, you could be also such a client in case you sustain an injury and you want to get properly compensated. The number of the firm is on the bottom of the screen. Michael Ilyich, thank you so much. We always value your time. We appreciate it. Thank you want you to add something? For having me. And yes, if you want real lawyers, if you want army of lawyers to represent your interests and fight for you, we yes. are that law firm. Reach out. You want Excellent. to do that. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye.